Okay, morning guys. It's actually 6 o'clock p.m., so good evening. Um, but usually I start off my vlogs at night. I've got you guys perched on a remote so that it's angled up towards me. Right now, I'm in my office. I'm just working on a thumbnail. I thought I'd give you guys an update as to what's going on because there's a lot going on right now. So first thing, no, that's not the one I want to edit. It's this one. First things first, uh, woke up this morning, um, ran some errands, didn't obviously not vlog any of this, went to Dollar Tree, did all of that. I had a return to do um, from Amazon. I ordered a spike ball set. I don't know if I talked about this, but I ordered a spike ball set because we couldn't find like our usual one that we always bring to the beach. It was obviously like deconstructed and not um, kept like in a box or whatever. It was just like in a bag. So I thought we lost it. And then um, just before we went on vacation, we found it. So I no longer needed the new spike ball set that I ordered. So I went ahead and returned it. Cause I mean, that thing is like 70 bucks. So I got that returned. I'm also gonna return a bicycle. So I ordered me a bicycle, my daughter one. It was really, really cute, but I was dumb and didn't read the, the whole thing. And apparently assembly is required. And I'm not gonna put a bicycle together. However, if you know me, if you've watched me fix toilets, all the things, all the things, all the things for years, I took that as a challenge. I was like, I can do this. But in my daughter's particular bike, the handlebar part was like not twisted the right way. And as much as I tried to like loosen this one bolt, it just was like concreted in. And then I contemplated with the idea of like taking it to a shop where you can have them put it together. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just done with this. So while I'm still in like the return frame, I'll just return this bike. And then if I can just find one in store, like Academy or I don't know where bikes are sold besides Walmart. Um, so I'm gonna go that route first. But all right, so after I got the errands out of the way, I filmed some videos and now, as you know, I'm working on a thumbnail. Um, so then a couple hours into the day and my daughter came to me and said, it's really hot upstairs and so went upstairs, checked on the thermostat at first. Um, I thought it was because my nest went into like this eco savings mode, which I was really frustrated with because it actually did have like little yellow leaf. So if you have a nest, you probably know what I'm talking about. I'm not a fan of this feature at all. Um, so I thought I made it a point to say no thanks on each, uh, thermostat the downstairs and the upstairs but it was hit with this yellow anyway so i had to go back into like the settings and just like hit no thanks again which i found really odd that like if you're literally declining this feature to change your temperatures for you like why is it still doing it what's up with the yellow little leaf thing it just it's one of the like features I honestly cannot stand with this app. It did it last season as well. I digress. So I'm thinking maybe that it's hot because it changed the temperature to this. So I start to lower it and it got hotter. <laughs> so I was just like, oh my gosh. So I uh, had to put in an, an appointment for my AC guy. Honestly, since living here, it has been several calls. I mean, if you've watched my videos and you already know, but it's just, I think that honestly, this is probably just how it is with AC units. Um, so that is happening. And the other thing that I have had to do is also call AT&T. I switched my internet provider. And since I sw switched, what I've noticed between like the two companies is while AT&T is more stable in the sense that it's not going through outages at all, it's the Wi-Fi signal so weak. I even bought extenders and those really haven't done much of anything. My download speeds are just awful. We'll be watching TV and it's just, sometimes it's just so pixelated because the download isn't happening fast enough so the picture's blurry and it's just created like upload issues and but with the other internet company that i originally had when i moved in it was pretty decent 
better than what I'm getting with AT&T, but the outages were, the outages were insane. Like they were weekly for hours, sometimes days. And it's just like, oh, so um, I have yet to speak to somebody from AT&T. So the first call that I made, they have like this automated system that tried to resolve it for me. So it tried to reboot. Um, I think it's a little bit better, but I still need to call somebody because the download and upload speeds are not good. All right, moving on to the next thing. And the other call I had to make was actually my uh, lawn company. So if you guys have been following my whole lawn journey, then you know that I was hit with horrific weeds. Poana. I mean, I'm just saying that it gives me chills. I hate that weed. It's ugh. It was the, uh, the whole reason why I called these people in the first place because I've always killed like my own weeds, but this Poana, she's a whole different breed. And they actually did an amazing job. They came out here, it killed that Poana, she's gone. The problem is now, since the last time they came, they, whatever the guy did, he, there's like several burn spots in my yard and it has not grown back at all. And it's been over a month, it's been a long time actually. And also noticed some of my bushes in my landscaping are dying off. And I know that they also treat for that as well. So I don't know why they would die. My watering system's the same. They were doing really great before I had them come. And I've recently, you know, just like had them treat. They've been out, I guess, three times or two times. So so anyways I called them I was like hey listen like this is kind of going on can you like come check maybe if this is something you're doing because bushes are not cheap learned that from the polar vortex in Texas killed a lot of our bushes here and um yeah so learned that bushes are very expensive so uh they asked me to take pictures so I did I sent it to them and they're going to come out tomorrow to kind of see what's going on maybe I, I really don't know, you know, but I'm gonna find out. Apparently, I cannot multitask in creating this thumbnail while chatting it up with you guys. And probably the majority of this entire vlog is gonna be a little chit chat. So, um, we're hitting August in Texas, which means my face is gonna melt. Probably gonna be like a month where you're not gonna really see much makeup on me. Even though I don't even wear foundation, but, um, so... Yeah, I'm excited about that. My daughter and I are going to be moving out of moving her out of her current apartment here really soon as well. So we'll do like a little travel vlog. It's gonna be a very quick trip, just in, out, done, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Unfortunately, there is a gap between this place and her new place, which have been several phone calls as well with this new place because we were told repeatedly that there would be no gap, especially when we signed the lease. And the way that they do the lease is just really bizarre. Um, so anyways, they, yeah, so there's gonna be a gap. So we basically have to go bring all the stuff back with us and then bring it all again for when we move her in. So it's gonna be a double trip. It's not ideal, but there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. Um, so there's that. Okay, I need to change this logo right here because I am doing an Amazon logo. I'll show you guys the thumbnail. All right, just gonna move this out of the way, but here is the thumbnail. Sometimes I, honest to God, look at the pictures I select and I'm like, what, what are you doing? But this is what we have to work with. I didn't take very many um, expression shots, so here we go. So anyways, that's what's been going on. So um, my daughter will be sleeping downstairs today and tomorrow because the AC guy doesn't come till Wednesday. The other thing that's been weighing pretty heavily on my mind, and I know I haven't outright directly mentioned Loxie, um, it's just, it's still really hard. Like I can't say her name out loud without falling apart obviously you know i'm i'm in a space where i can 
switch it off and I can laugh and talk and just like switch it away from my mind but I go back to it every day every day it's very hard I don't feel like it's getting any easier personally um, there's just a lot that goes through my mind when I allow myself to to turn my thoughts back to her. Um, but what I was saying was that I've been, you know, thinking about the update video I have yet to film. And I know everyone's been just super supportive and sweet and kind about just, you know, knowing that I gotta take the time and, and everything. I just, it'll never feel easy talking about this. Um, so I don't, I don't know where, where I'm getting at. I feel like it's just been on my mind and I feel like maybe if I just do the video, it'll be something that I need to do. And I guess also where I was going with that, you know, is like doing this little trip is going to, everything basically that I'm doing, whether I'm making a certain dinner or when I go to the bathroom down to getting the mail or when I leave to go jogging every little thing that I do is a constant reminder of her not being with me you know like if I would make a certain dinner like she would know that she could have like a little piece or something um and she's not there uh, when I go jogging I loved like the last finishing few steps because I knew she would be waiting for me you know before I would leave to go jogging she would like to stretch with me um and so when we went on our vacation to Florida it was again another experience you know every year we'd go to Florida and and she would be at home because no pets were allowed and I was always worried sick I knew that she didn't like being away from me. I knew that she wasn't eating. And it was just like, oh, it was one of those things. That's why I never traveled. That's why I never did anything. Because, like, just doing the week to Florida honestly killed me, being away from Loxy. And so then on this trip, compared to last year, I was always, like, ready. I was ready to get, get to her by, like, Thursday. I was like, I gotta go home. I, want, I miss Loxy. I need to get to Loxy. And it was like, you know wasn't gonna get to go back to her so it's all of these things that are very different and so I guess I was just thinking about how the last time you know I was in my daughter daughter's college apartment it was not a good situation you know it was the loxy thing um which I think was vlogged and so that's going to be a whole experience and it's just <sighs> anyways this is why i really feel like i'm just not ready to do this video because i just know i can't do it without falling apart i actually had filmed it um i'm when i do finally do the update video. I haven't decided if I'm gonna use the footage of when I, I filmed this update. The day that I pulled out the camera, I just felt like I needed to do it. And so in a way it was like me talking to myself about it. And then I just was like, I felt too raw, too vulnerable. I wasn't ready. I shut the filming off. I didn't even finish. Um, so I don't know. I haven't watched it back. I don't know if I'll be able to stomach it through editing. I, I really don't know what, how I'm going to handle this footage if I am going to use it. Because I don't know that I want to like repeat myself if that makes sense. So I have no idea. Um, I just know that I'm just not sure, you know, if I'm in a place where... I can really go down this road because I'm still struggling every day. All right, so anyways, I guess we are gonna turn this video into a little chit chat, might as well. Um, 
I think right now, after getting this video uploaded on my to-do list tomorrow, I'm gonna pre-film three videos. It's part of like my whole new little routine is just like pre-filming and I'm talking about my main channel. Um, I was gonna go upstairs and build the third piece of furniture, but it's like 85 degrees up there, so I'm not gonna do that today. So we're just gonna pause on the craft room, but it's coming along. I do need to get at least one more chest from Ikea. However, I think I bought the last one, the last two. So it's out of stock. I'm not gonna delay, listen, I'm not gonna delay my craft room over this, this third piece. However, I do feel that it would be a big difference in having it versus not having it in the video, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it to you. Um, if it's not in stock by August, doesn't matter. I'm releasing my craft room in August. So, so yeah, I did order the curtains and like little curtain rings for the craft room. I went back and forth on if I'm going to do a rug or not. I think I'm going to wait to show you guys like in that video, have it all together and then have you guys vote if you think it needs like a rug or not a rug. Um, but I'm getting, I'm getting so excited just to like have the house feel like it's organized. That's been a very big mission of mine. I talked about it in the last house. I just need the house to be clear so I can be clear here. It just, the, the, the two really connect for me. It's like why I vacuum all the time or why I make my bed every single day or 99% of the time is because if I don't, it just weighs on my mind and I, I can't be having that. I gotta clear it out and get it out, you know? So that's pretty much it. I don't know like what else to kind of update you guys on. But yeah, I guess if I have anything more to say, I'll just keep saying it. But right now I can't think of anything.